Okay. Um, this will be pretty interesting, actually. So definitely getting the goo. That's a hundred percent chance. Um, I say we definitely get the whetstone. I would honestly, broom wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's also get the broom because we're gonna have some form of DPS, right? That's gotta be a thing. We can also get this lump of coal roll. Hmm. Um. Okay. Okay. I'll take spikes. I'll take space, and I'll take banana next round. As far as this round goes, we have two options. We can either just have an activator like that, or we can split the two, whetstone both weapons, and then just have like a single activator or most are like that. Um, I don't really see us. I don't know which one is better, double activator on the goobert or the increase in damage for both of the weapons by one, three to six for both, or three to five for that one. I don't know which one is better. Or just going with double activator and increasing the DPS of one weapon. I think that would be better. And then just increasing the DPS of one weapon. I think that would be better for some reason. I don't know why, but I just feel like this would be better. <laughs> Honestly, versus one activator. I don't know. I think I'm gonna try this. I think I'm gonna try that. We'll have double activator and then just increasing the DPS of one weapon versus a Reaper with a bunch of poison in a broom. Okay, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> oh? Okay, man, never mind. Our health got dangerously low there. Um, let's see here. Don't want to pick up the flame badge. So I definitely need the banana because the more activators we have, the better, right? Um, and we also need space if we want to rock the goober like we are, right? So space banana, I think is the better play here. And let's just rotate the entire board over and we could put the banana like that, right? It's pretty much what we're going to be rocking right now. I still want to get this walrus tusk. I wish there was a way. Well, I could do this, but it only count as one activated one time. Maybe that's not bad, though. I'm going to roll. Ooh, cap of Brazil on sale. I'll take that. I will take that. Mass start. Not the best, not the worst. Going against another berserker. But they got better DPS than us since they have the spear. And we lose. God damn it. That's fine though. Good game. Mm. Now we could go from spear to broom. Or from broom to spear. We could sell the broom and get the spear. That'd be higher DPS for us, which wouldn't be horrible. I say that's what we'll do. Do a little situation like this. Um, and then we can go ahead and pick up the cap. And I guess we could just put this guy over here. Gonna be horrible. More space, I'll take that. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, we definitely gotta win this one, right? He's only got a sword. That's all he has is a sword. <laughs> no way we lose it against just a sword. Good game. Hey, okay, I could pick up another West Stone, put that guy right there, but kind of don't want to do that. Honestly speaking, I kind of just want to do this. Hmm. Man, the shop is not being nice to me right now, is it? I guess we gotta take this though. Take what we have. Um, I could just buy pocket sand just to buy it or another lump of coal just to buy it. I do want space though. I'm gonna buy this pocket sand just to buy the pocket sand. Could have also went with the stone, but meh. Do I win? Oh, that's a lot of healing. I doubt it. He's only got one DPS, which is just a short bow. Also, that's not a spike shield, which is good for us. But he's got a lot of healing and a lot of block. I don't know if we have the DPS in order to uh, keep up with that. This is definitely going to go into fatigue mode. I should have put some space in front of the spear for the star slots. Berserker mode might save us, maybe. Okay, Berserker mode saved us. Beautiful. All right, let's get space. We got a dagger. I do want a dagger. A roll here. More space. Could get another activator with this garlic. Um, this also acts as another activator, so we could try something different here. Probably do a little situation like... Honestly, let's just do that, because these are both 3.5 anyway, so the speed doesn't really matter. 
since they do the same speed. Whether I do this or do this, it doesn't really matter to me. So we'll just do that. And honestly, let's just pick up this garlic. So now we're full activators. That goes like that. We can get space next round and we'll just roll with this. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Hey, Loco. What's up, my friend? Damn, Shield of Valor. That is nasty. He's also got the Burning Sword. Dracunic Orb, so my spikes didn't matter. Well, I only had one spike, so I guess it didn't matter in the first place. But still, good. How about me? I'm doing pretty solid. Can't complain. I'm surprised we're not dead yet. Then again, they don't really have that much stamina. Berserker Mode saves me? Yeah. Let's go. Berserker Mode saves me. Good game. Okay. This was a good shop. I need everything here but the Stone Skin Potion. So... We got 11 gold. Um, I do want to get me a Claws of Attack. So we're definitely buying you. And we're probably definitely buying you. Because we need space for the Claws of Attack anyways. Yeah. And we'll just get both of those next round. So we have a situation like this. But we can probably utilize this Gloves of Haste a little bit better. Because that would just be smart. Um, our biggest DPS is the Spear. So I'm thinking we just increase the Spear. Pretty much. Um, and what we... Yeah, what can we? Well, I was gonna say I could do this. A situation like that, switch that over, but uh, I'm not sure. The whetstone still isn't being used now, or the other side of the whetstone isn't being used now. So, not really sure I want to do this. I don't think so. I think I want to just keep it like this. Well, I mean, that's a 3.5. Or five seconds, sorry. This is a 3.5. So the dagger would be a faster activator on the goober. And then I can use this for healing. Plus, it's 20% faster. I think that might be better, actually. I'll keep it like this. I could also buy this bird. I have three gold. I could sell the coal, sell the pocket sand, get the bird. The bird can be a better activator than the garlic. And it's going to make everything on that left side faster. What the important stuff. Not everything, but... It's gonna make the important stuff faster. I guess we could just uh, keep it like this. That works for me. Yeah, that works for me. Ooh. He's already got Dragon Scale armor and he's also got Thornwood with triple bananas. It's gonna be a very dangerous match. The Thorns is going to stack up. We'll probably lose this due to Thorns realistically, plus the bananas healing him. Yeah. Good game though. Okay. I like what I see. So we got 11 gold. We pretty much want everything here but the dagger. Um, So what I could do is I could sell the spear. And replace it with the hungry blade. Right? That's option number one. Because we need 14. Which selling this would give us that 14. Because I also want to get a dragon scale armor. Um, so let's do that. Let's sell the spear. Get the sword. Sword can go there. And... There's got to be a way for us to figure out the leather armor situation. We should probably switch this out too. Since that's going to do more. Uh, it's going to activate faster because of Claws of Attack. Um, I mean, I guess Dragon Skill could go in these slots here. A little situation like that. But we need somewhere for the Forging Hammer to go. Don't really have a situation like that. <laughs> Let's see the... Boom. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way to fit this forging hammer in here. Somehow. Hold on, let me figure this out. I do that. And then that. And then this. That can go there. And that can go there. Awesome. So that works. One is better. Yeah, it's better to move this up by one as well. So do that, and I guess that can just go on the dagger. We really don't have any other slots for that to go, so I guess we'll just go on the dagger for now. Okay. Um, they don't have their magic torch touching their broom. Do we win because of that? They do have the blueberry to, for the DPS increase in that magic torch alone, but without it being on the broom, you're taking the L there, and we take that. Nice. Nice. Um, man, getting the fighter brass knuckles would be solid here actually but i kind of do want the shaman mask right i kind of do want that um which one do i get here 
Honestly... Because I want a cheese goober. That's the point of this. I want a cheese goober. I want to get the rabbit. And that should be solid in order to feed the shaman mask and get a bunch of buffs. I'm going to go shaman mask here. It might not have been the right play. But for the build in my head, it is the right play. <laughs> okay, so... What are you doing with these items? I could also get this blueberry. Just for another activator. I don't think it'll be a horrible play. Or I could roll two times. We also probably need a stamina sack for a little bit more space. Um, I think we're gonna switch this up a little bit. Where are you? Do that instead. Oh, shit, no. The Shaman Mask can be an activator. Even though it's slow, 3.2. I mean, it's faster than a 3.5, right? Um, that can go there. Let's see here. And then we could go Banana Dagger? Or actually, we can bring this banana back by one. That can go there and that can go there. Don't know where to put you, but you definitely got to go somewhere. What? Someone's not doing anything. Now it is. <laughs> that works. Okay. That works for me. I don't think that's horrible. Okay, they barely have mana generation for their magic staff. Poison is probably going to get our biggest thing. Plus, they got Cursed Dagger for the poison. Going with a Cursed Armor as well. Seven blind is disgusting. Though we did start off with three, so there's that. But we're probably not going to hit anything. Our accuracy sucks. Brass Knuckles would have helped. <laughs> Good game, though. Okay, let's get the space. Roll. Cheese. There goes my Gooby. Beautiful. I love seeing that. Um, I wonder if there's a way for me to fit this forging hammer in here somewhere. I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. We'll just go with this then. I'm glad I get my cheese goober next round. Do I beat this guy? Uh, Burning Banner is so good when you get it for the first time. It just, it's just an OP weapon or an item rather. Especially in a longevity build with that regeneration, taking away my buffs. That is not a W. Okay. We got space on sale. I do like my space on sale. A roll. Okay, we got elephant rune. That's not bad. We'll take that. Um, I don't want anything there. Hawk rune is solid. We go great sword. Great sword is probably our biggest play here. Problem is, we only have two life left. So it's going to be risky. But I still think that's the best play we could probably do. I'm going to pick up this banana as well. And we'll pick you up too. Hopefully we can win this one with our newly acquired cheese goober. I mean, we're only going against Magic Staff and a Fortunus Hope. They don't have the best build in the world. So I feel like we should probably win this one. Plus, now that we have Cheese Goer, we're getting random buffs. Our empowerment is crazy. Vampirism's looking solid. Nice. And this is why I love Cheese Goer. <laughs> and Shaman Mask. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We don't really need the Whetstone anymore. So we're going to sell that. We're going to buy that Impractically Large Great Sword. We're also probably going to sell the Hungry Blade. Because the Great Sword is going to be our new DPS. And we can either buy the Hawk Rune or the leather bag, because we need space. Um, I want to put you there. So we're just gonna move that around. Um, we're gonna upgrade you as well, so let's get that. So now we're here. Put you over here. Yeah, those two can go there. Boom. I guess we'll just go double banana. I think that's more important than the, the garlic in this situation. Then again, the great sword isn't inside of the duffel bag. Huh. I kind of 
kind of want it inside a duffel bag. Hmm. But I also want it inside of the, uh, unless I moved it like this. That way it's inside the duffel bag and it's inside the, uh, the fanny pack. Um, but it is kind of less slots we have to work with, right? Unless I did this. Maybe move this somewhere else. This forging hammer needs to go there. That needs to go there. All right, we're cooking. We're cooking. Kind of. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that fits everything. And then we'll just buy the hawker and put it there. And then save the space for later. Okay. I wish I could have those touching each other. Can I? I can. Awesome. They're not inside the the duffel bag, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. A phoenix and sun armor combo. Not to mention frozen flame, and he's already got a frozen buckler. That is scary, for sure. I know exactly the build you're going for. I like the build you're going for, though. I'll give you props for that. But can we make it on top here? Being out of stamina does not help. <laughs> nice 50 damn. Out of stamina. 115. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's go. Good game, good game, good game. All right. That's really nice. And we got the big boy sword. So we're going to need space. And I also want to get the blood amulet to upgrade that into a uh, blood dagger. For the sake of healing. And Kappa Rezo for our survivability during those early rounds is important. But we're going to need more space here. So let's move the entire board down by one. Because this guy's got to fit like here or rather something like that. Um, this can go up here and then boom, that doesn't work. <laughs> well, that works. Actually, yeah, we don't need that then. Right there, right there. Okay. There's a lot of extra space over there though. Rather not have all that extra space. If I can get me a potion belt right there, beautiful. Um, oh, we already got a cap. I guess getting two wouldn't hurt. Yeah. I'm also going to do this. Uh, I guess we could put our food over here instead. Since there's a lot of space over here already because of the extra space we get from the cap. I mean, from the, uh, the busted blade. I guess that wouldn't be horrible. And you like, boom, boom, boom. That goes over there. Actually, wait, no, because blood ammo is going to have to go somewhere. <laughs> Trying to figure this out. Um, There we go. That works. I just wanted the uh, oops. I wanted the forging hammer to at least go somewhere. For the added DPS, it can do, right? All right, it's not looking bad, though. This is not looking bad. What am I going against? A little pet build with Mana Thirst and Magic Torch, huh? With the Kappa Discomf? Okay. We'll see what happens. Uh oh, this is not looking good for us. No, we need to figure out our stamina. We definitely have stamina issues. Okay, that stamina potion is definitely going to help. I don't think I get the cap anymore. I think I get this hawk rune and probably the stamina potion. Because we're going to need it because of stamina. <laughs> Got a free space, huh? I could get rid of the garlic, maybe? Possibly. It might even be worth for the duffel bag to put the bananas in there instead of the weapons. His stamina. Um, I think that's what we'll do. So let's move the duffel bag like here instead. We'll do that. And then we'll just fit the bananas inside the duffel bag. We can upgrade one of them by doing that. Um. Oh, wait, you need to move up by one. Yeah, you got to go like there instead. 
Well, that's awkward. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here. Okay. This looks weird, but it's it's a thing. That can go there. Maybe I move this up here and do something with this to, to just make it better and not so weird. Potentially, I could replace this, do that instead. Damn it. <laughs> okay, this works. Boom, boom. Talk room goes there, low resist. Honestly, I could just sell this garlic. Yeah, let's sell the garlic just to get the stamina sack. That'll make this a little bit better, I think. Um, oops, did not want to do that. Um, actually, I'm just moving you over here because you fit perfectly right there, right? This still looks weird. Unless I move the entire board over by one and then do this and then banana. Uh, banana? Stamina, armor. And you go down. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that fixes our stamina issue that we've been having. Oh no, not a light Goobert, bro. Not a light Goobert plus double mana thirst. And he's got the Nocturnal Locklifter for the healing. And a bunch of stones for some reason. <laughs> I'm more so worried about the Goobert and our busted blade having 65% accuracy. And this guy is eating our clovers. We have no way to remove debuffs. If we can't hit him, it doesn't matter. Damn, never mind. <laughs> All we gotta hit, all we gotta do is hit him once for a hundred and something damage and we're fine. Let's get this. I'm also gonna get this health potion. Okay, I like that. I like this. What are we at, five? Okay, so. I got the health potion in order to proc the strong heroic potion whenever we go into berserker mode for the extra stamina that was the whole purpose um i definitely need me need to get a rabbit though getting the spike collar is probably the best bet though increasing our battle rage mode a little bit longer is just smart it's just a smart thing to do the extra cheese might not be bad but it's eight gold i don't know how i like that for eight gold but yeah i think spike collar is probably the best thing to buy here and then we can get stamina sack next round. Um, do I want a gloves of haste? I could put it. No, I can't. <laughs> I don't know if I want an extra gloves of haste. I don't think I do. I don't think I need it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna just go for a stamina sack. Dear word guardian, lots of mana. He's probably gonna just benefit from the 20 mana gain and just try to kill me from the, the constant 20 mana gain steal ah damn oh berserker mode there goes the shaman mask shaman mask is going crazy though but maybe it's okay because ours is at 84 damage right now and plus we're, we have a what a 45 percent chance to crit damn 111. Oh, there goes our Berserker mode. We used up all our stamina potions, though, so that's a, a pain. Not us missing. What's your accuracy? 95 and you miss? Come on now. One more hit and he's dead. Give me that one more hit. There we go. Good game. All right, stamina sack. Roll another stamina potion. You know, I'll take it. I'll take that extra stamina potion. Roll... Finally got the bunny. What do we got? Two gold? I kind of want you. I don't know if I'm willing to sell anything for it, though. That's only giving me, giving me two. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm willing to sell anything because we need to upgrade. I guess we could theoretically sell the health potion and the forging hammer, but I don't think that's a good play because I do want to get me another dragon scale armor, so I need to keep that. Yeah, there's nothing else I'm willing to sell, even with this being on sale like this. Nothing else I'm willing to sell. That's unfortunate. I'll get this other health potion, though. But yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, no. We're going to be so slow. Doing the flavor of the month build. <laughs> the flavor of the month. <laughs> is that what it's called? Bro, we're going to be so slow. On the bright side, this guy's not going to have any heat. He has no heat generator at all. Both his sun armors are eating up heat, plus his molten spear is eating up heat. He's not going to generate any heat. I think he beats us in the initial, like the, the beginning of the game, but like in game wise, I think we win. We just have to survive because he's only going to have what? 20 heat, 22 heat. And boom, he's just gonna eat it away. But we all we do have 24 cold on us though. So we are extremely slow, which is very, very unfortunate. Come on. It's a good thing we got that extra spike collar. We're gonna need that extra two seconds of berserker mode if we wanna win this. Come on, no, we need the crits. 45% chance, bro, we need the crits. His sun armor is just gonna heal him back up. And because we're so slow, it's like, Jesus Christ. Let's go. 190, we needed that so badly. Let's go. Good game. Ooh. Okay. So we get Whopper Tinger here, for sure. That's just a W. We kind of need space, honestly. But I say we get this Elephant Rune, probably put that on the dagger for the extra stun chance for the double procking of the bloody dagger. Um, I want to get this Health Potion too. Maybe can utilize that extra purse somehow. Let's see here. Okay, you can go there, and then we can do this. Okay, that works. And I'm just gonna buy that, just to buy it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, poison build. Getting you a stone armor. You got two flutes behind each other. <laughs> Why do you have two flutes if you're a poison build? What do you need stamina for? <laughs> Why do you need stamina? I'm, I'm confused. Okay, 33 poison on me already. I see you. We can come out on top here, though. I got faith. Come on, we gotta be critting those. Alright, Berserker mode. Nice. 257 damage. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Clovers for lamp? Oh. <laughs> is he is he proccing his de his fucking dev scythe, bro? Lamp proccing his dev scythe? I love it. Um What do I need here? I go for a stone helmet. We already got two rounds left. I kind of need space in order to fit that well, I, I guess I could just fit it here. Should I go for a stone helmet? This wouldn't hurt. Ooh, elephant rune. Where do I put you? Should I put on the busted blade? Or the forging hammer? It's fine in armor too. For the 40% chance to resist debuffs at the start of the round. When you're going against blind and poison bomb people. What 
Which one is better? Because we kind of already have these guys stunning, right? I don't know. I kind of want to do that. I guess I could do that. But I kind of want to do that. Let's do this. We'll do that. That works for me. Um, getting a stone helmet. All right, this looks good. This looks good. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. You have a lot of jewels. You have a lot of jewels. Very interesting build. <laughs> very, very interesting. I think we win, though, if I had to guess. Oh, he's stun resistant, too, because of this guy. 25% chance. That's fine. That's fine. Kinda. Kinda fine. Kinda not. I don't know. Can we stop hitting his sun armor, please? That would be great. Damn! 232 damage? Jesus Christ. Thing said, boom! Here's half your, more than half your health gone. I should have taken that dark uh, crystal and just put it on there to see how much damage we can end up getting. Should I get space? I don't know. I kind of want a dark crystal now. Just a little bit. Should I get the glowing crown just in case we go against someone with blind? That's a good play. Do not want to go against a blind build. Hello. I would like you. It's two gold though. Unless I sell a health potion. I could sell a health potion for it. Or I could sell this. That's only one gold. Damn it. I thought it was two. Crap. I guess I could do this. And just sell my bag. Put the hawk room there. So it's 15, 30, a 60% chance to crit. 60% chance to crit. Here's the build. We have cheese gooberts. Honestly, we should probably switch these two. Because this is 2.5 seconds. That's a 3.2 seconds. We should probably switch that too, just for the faster activators. Um, but yeah, so we got cheese goobert. Giving us buffs. So is the Whopper Tinger giving us buffs, and Shaman Mass is giving us buffs. The idea is to get as much empowerment as possible, and Vampirism. Vampirism, vampirism is helping us with our healing, um, because we have Claws of Attack here, plus a Bloody Dagger, and then, you know, Forging Hammer, I guess, helping us. Vampirism helping us with the healing, and then the empowerment is just increasing DPS of all those, and especially increasing the DPS of the Busted Blade. And our buffs are coming from Shaman Mass, Whopper Tinger, and Cheese Goober. We got our Stamina here, this just makes things faster and it's just a nice activator. Um, this takes care of blind. Um, this is just good. <laughs> and so is this. And yeah. That's the build. That's how it works. And we're going against a hammer. Bloody build, it seems. He's only got two bloody daggers. But he's got the blood goober. Plus, he's got Brass Knuckles and Hammer for the stunning. So that's a thing. Okay, he's got a lot of stamina. Triple Bananas plus the Topazes in the slots here. Very interesting. I say we win. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he has a Vampiric Armor up there. He could have had another Bloody Dagger. That would have probably been better, to be fair. 161, cheese. One ninety two. But look at his survivability, bro. He just gets it all back. He's already at back at three hundred. With sixteen vamp. Come on, seventy five. You should have crit that one. But now his berserker mode is over. Hit this man. Oh yeah, the vampiric. Oh yeah, you're right. The vampiric potion doesn't eat the gem. You're right. I forgot about that. 
297 at the end. Pretty much 300 damage at the end there. 100. Five, plus five damage per empowerment. That was like plus 50 extra damage. <laughs> it did a 60% chance to crit, bro. Let's look at the damage. 525. 232 from spikes, which eh, sounds about right. Going against daggers. But freaking five. No, we weren't even at the end. 800. 816 damage from Busted Blade is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Our healing vampirism. Yep, sounds about right. Sheesh. And most of our empowerment came from the claws, which sounds, you know, that makes sense. And then it gets faster. Unhit 3% faster each time you hit. That was a really fast cause of attack. 0.69 cooldown. Getting faster because of the spikes themselves. Getting faster because of the badger room. That's one fast clause, which helps us out with our empowerment gaining. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was freaking dope. Good game. Good freaking game.